What is up guys, it is your boy Steady Chaos. In this quick video, I wanna share with you my controller settings for the Xbox Series S and X. Again, I'm using a controller here. I am playing on PC, but I find that the default controller settings are not particularly good, and it took me about a week to really hone them in with my own customized settings. And I wanna share them with you, maybe in hopes that it will improve your game if you're struggling to hone yours in. Give them a try, let me know what you think in the comment section down below, and of course, if you think you have better settings, let me know and I will try those out as well. Also, a quick caveat, I want to mention I have the Control Freak clip-on extenders for the joysticks on my Xbox Series X controller. I would highly recommend you try these out. I started using these about five years ago and I've never looked back. They really do help to improve your accuracy and your precision in first-person shooters, I think anyway. And you can get them on Amazon for 15 to 20 bucks. They're really not that expensive. And all they do is they just clip right on, you're good to go. So with that said, let's hit start, go to settings. And again, we are on the controller here, not the keyboard and mouse, the controller. So let's go down. Sensitivity and acceleration. Look acceleration uh, by default is two. I've tried two and higher and I just don't like it. I feel like you lose that pinpoint accuracy. Say you're using the battle rifle, you're engaging somebody at medium range, 15 to 20 yards. You're not zoomed in. You really need that fine pinpoint accuracy. And with look acceleration set too high, I feel like I was overcompensating. I was kind of jerky left and right, up and down. I just didn't like it. It didn't feel natural to me. It didn't really feel linear. So by setting it down all the way to one, I feel like when you have to quickly look to the left or right, or you even need a little bit of precision, I feel like the movement and the acceleration is more linear at one and it's more predictable and it's easier to use in that respect. Now look sensitivity, both horizontal and vertical here. Again, this is predicated on having the control freak extenders for your joysticks. I use somewhere between seven and eight for both horizontal and vertical. I feel like the default setting of five is a little bit too low. It doesn't quite give you that fast precision and sensitivity that you really need in a game like Halo. And also by having your sensitivity jacked up a little bit, it does help to compensate for the lower look acceleration. So I feel like this is a good balance between look acceleration one and then your sensitivity being a little bit higher to give you a little bit more precision and a little bit more responsiveness, okay? So give these a try. If you don't have the joystick extenders, uh, the control freak clip-ons, I would say maybe try more of a six or so look sensitivity for horizontal and vertical. Okay, moving on for zoom level and 1.4 times sensitivity. I keep those standard or default at 1.4 times and one. Now for your move thumbstick, your center dead zone, your max input threshold, and your axial dead zone. This is for your movement joystick or thumbstick on the left that moves your character that you run with. These can stay default the same. You don't really need to tweak these. You don't really need added precision or sensitivity just for movement. So default is fine. But this is the big one. The look thumbstick, the right thumbstick, the thumbstick you aim your guns with. This is the one you want to adjust. So if you see here, center dead zone, max input threshold, and axial dead zone. For center dead zone, it says set how far the look thumbstick is from the center before the minimum input registers. Lower values feel more responsive, higher values reduce drift. So you want, ideally, you want your aiming joystick to be more responsive, right? It makes it more responsive, more precise. Uh, it, it gives you that immediate feedback, especially if you're playing at higher FPS levels. So I say turn the center dead zone all the way down to zero. Now it will introduce a little bit of drift in your character, but having the extreme responsiveness that setting it all the way to zero provides you is worth it and it outweighs any negative that you get from a little bit of increased drift. So basically by setting it all the way to zero, the moment the joystick leaves the center where its resting position is, the moment it comes off axis, just a little bit, like one, 2%, then the game starts registering that in your aim. And that to me is good. That gives you pinpoint accuracy, okay? Pinpoint accuracy. Max input threshold, I have that at 15 jacked all the way up. Set how far the look thumbstick is from the edge before the maximum input registers. So I have it all the way jacked up. So in order for me to get maximum input registration, I want it to be all the way at the edge, right? I don't want max input registration at 75%. I want 75% registration. So I have it set all the way to the max and you see here a higher value reduce, reduces slow turn. So you will turn a little bit more quickly. Uh, you'll have a little bit more responsiveness and that will help also to offset that look acceleration that we set down to one. 
And then the axial dead zone, similar to the center dead zone, set how far the look thumbstick is from X or Y axis before the minimum input registers. Lower values feel more responsive. So same song and dance here, set it all the way down so that you have the most responsive control possible for your X and Y axes. You again, you introduce a little bit of drift. Maybe if you say you run and then you stop all of a sudden you let go of your joysticks, your character might just drift a little bit. But in my opinion, it's not enough to really disrupt your aim. So that is really it for my controls when using a controller on the PC or a console, Xbox Series X or Xbox Series S. Let me know if you try these settings out, what you think. Are they good? Are they bad? Did they improve your game? Did they make your game worse? And if you think that they made your game worse, then please let me know what your settings are and I will be sure to give them a try and let you know how I feel. All right, guys, until next time, I'll see you later. Peace.